Alright, welcome back everybody to the second episode of Next of Tech today. Even though it's technically Thursday, because I'm recording this at midnight, but I'm sure some of you are still up. But today, well, tonight, this morning, whatever you want to call it, we're going to be talking about the new iPod Touch. And let me tell you, I am excited about the new iPod Touch. It is amazing. Now, just to get the price out of the way, because I know that's what everybody wants to know. Yes, it is now $299 or $300. But... There is no more 8 gig or 16 gig iPod Touch. Now it's 32 gig for the starting model at 299 and 64 gig, which just goes up from there. And now it has the new screen, the new 4 inch display, and its Retina display for all of you people that are wondering. So that'll be the equivalent to the new iPhone, the iPhone 5. So it'll be great for watching movies, playing games. FaceTime, all that good stuff. And speaking of FaceTime, they have a new EyeSight camera, which is 5 megapixels and records in 1080p HD up to 30 frames per second, and it's amazing. And the FaceTime HD camera records um, 720p with 30 frames per second. So good quality cameras all around, let me tell you. Uh, it of course uses the lightning connector, which is the new charger seen here. And, you know, not, not too much to talk about the lightning connector. You can plug it in on either side, so it's handy. It's not like a USB cable where you have to, like, stare at it and then try to match up the hole with it. And it's really annoying. So that's a, that's a good convenience. It also comes in five different colors that you're seeing right here. And these five colors are very vibrant and they look very nice. And as you can tell from this picture, the iPod is very slim and very long and it's it's great it, it's gonna be like I said just amazing for watching Netflix and you know Amazon instant video or whatever you watch Hulu stuff like that so now let's talk about the battery life because that's what everybody wants to know how long is this gonna last when I'm in the car now assuming that you don't have a car charger which it'll last forever if you did uh, it will work for up to 40 hours when fully charged, if you're playing music, it will work for eight hours when fully charged. If you are playing video, I'm pretty sure that counts, you know, full HD video, but I'm not entirely sure they do not clarify. And then the charging times. So you can do a fast charge in about two hours, which will be about 80% of the battery, or you can do a full charge for the entire battery for just four hours. So you put it on overnight, you wake up and it's perfect. It's ready to go. It of course uses the new earbuds or ear pods, which I mentioned in the last video, which you can see right here. Nice little picture. They've got a different shape to them. Uh, they do not have like the little padding, so I'm wondering how comfortable they are. So I guess that's something that you guys will have to try and then let me know. And also, much like the iPhone 5, you can now do the panorama camera shot which you can see here you just hold it up hit start or something just hit the button and then just kind of move it sideways across your scenery or whatever it is you want to make a panoramic view of your room your crawl space your kitchen or your bathroom I don't know wherever it is that you feel the need to take a panoramic picture you can do it with the iPod 5 I guess the iPod 5G is that what we're calling it rolls off the tongue doesn't it and then finally an iPod with Siri a lot of people wanted Siri in the most recent iPod after the 4s came out and you guys finally got it full Siri functionality which I'm pretty sure includes that nifty little restaurant reservations feature which I mentioned in the last video which sounds awesome the iPod 5g also features the a5 processor from the last version of the iPhone which is going to speed up opening apps, taking pictures, listening to music. It'll speed up all of your processes. So that's always good. The iPod Touch also comes with this little loop thing. It's, it's called the loop. And you put it in your iPod, like in the side of the bezel on the bottom, I assume. And you can put it around your wrist, like that little wrist strap that comes with like cameras and stuff. So it'll be really easy to hold on to. Here's a couple pictures of that. So that's a little nifty thing that they're including, that way you don't break your iPod and then 
start crying and screaming about it because that would suck. So there you have it, all the information that you want to know about the new iPod Touch. So thanks for watching Next of Tech. I will see you guys later on today, and have a wonderful Thursday.